Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate HD. A really long title. Perhaps unnecessarily so. So this is actually the HD re-release of Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate, a 3DS tie-in to the last generation reboot of Castlevania Lords of Shadow, which played more like a Devil May Cry style game or a, you know, God of War sort of thing than a traditional Castlevania. This was then released with the uh, with Konami kind of saying, hey, this is going to be a more traditional style Castlevania, you know, 2D side-scrolling Metroidvania-esque game. That happens to also tie into Lords of Shadow, which I have not played, so... Uh, potential spoilers, maybe? I don't know if this is a prequel or a sequel. Okay, I guess we're uh, in prequel territory right now, a year before the first game. The only point of this cutscene is to establish that Gabriel... It was Gabriel, right? Apparently had a son. Oh, okay. We're playing now. Everything is switched to a 2D plane. But all we can do is walk. Gabriel here's still got the combat cross, the signature weapon of the Belmonts. Some sort of weird extendy whip. So K and O. Oh, geez. Okay, so gotta kinda cram both hands onto the typing bit. And according to this, these are all of the controls. Figure out some combos here. So yeah, it seems like it's got the despite the fairly simplistic two-button attack thing, you can sort of pause in combos to get different combos. Hold Alt to block. I was holding alt. Maybe it means the other alt? I have pressed both alts. Nope. Apparently alt just doesn't work for me. I'm holding alt. Nothing happening. 
neither ults do anything. That's weird. Well, if you don't give him an opportunity to attack, you don't need to dodge. Change that dodge to actually work. All right, I changed the shift, and it seems to work now. while they're stunned. Okay, that was unblockable. One animation per enemy thing. No, I can't roll through enemies. It seems like they don't actually stun the enemies when you hit them very well. That hole was a lot bigger a second ago. Alright, put him in our Pokeball. Another mission uh, for a monster hunting member of the Brotherhood of Light, whatever that is. You have seen it, Marie. The mirror has shown you Gabriel's fate. He must protect the child from his father. Trevor and his lineage will be the only ones capable of facing him in the future. Your son's survival is the only hope for humanity. We will come for him at nightfall. How could that have been meanwhile? Was he gone for like nine months? All 
All right, so I guess there's your uh, spoiler for the end of Lord of Sh Lords of Shadow, which I kind of knew already just from reading stuff about uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. Which, I guess if this takes place between the two, uh, spoilers, we don't kill Dracula because he's the main character of Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. Fifty-seven years later. Uh! Run, Simon, don't stop! Apparently the Belmont's outfits have gotten more and more ridiculous throughout the years. Alright, so now we've just got an actual whip. <laughs> Seems like it has the same moves. Oh, we got a uh, map. Alright, so there's our Castlevania sort of map. Presumably it'll keep track of stuff that we have to go back to. get XP. And also we have a health bar now because we didn't in that uh, tutorial prologue. <laughs> Looks like the zombies can throw their heads at us, but we can whip them back at them. got like half of a health bar there, so I guess uh, we can upgrade ourselves as we go. So zombies. And collectibles give us experience, which is nice, instead of them just being useless. I felt like there was something over here. I guess not. So now I guess we've gotten our traditional Castlevania sub-weapon. Man, this requires a weird finger placement. I guess it's sort of a three keys on one side, three keys on the other. Oh, 
Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm not really trying to do anything too strategic with my attacks, I'm just kind of swinging. Pick up hearts for uh, ammunition. It's like old school Castlevania. find our own way in. Where we just came from. So it says a good point to access the map and leave a note, so how do we do that? So you can uh, mark the stuff you need. Though old Castlevanias actually kept track of that stuff for you usually. <laughs> it's a good warning once you're already in here not to come here without the proper equipment. Hey look, it's that ghost's face from the title screen. Oh, you can swim. That's... new. We've almost got enough to level up. This 
mysterious oxygen tunnel at the bottom. I got a bestiary card for zombies. Every time I uh, have to pick up one of those notes, I lose track of my attack hand placement. Oh, merman. fish. Looks like I can't attack underwater. down there yeah <laughs> all right so I guess that was a secret <sighs> We have to go up, so this is all extra stuff. <gasps> but how do I go up from here? See, there's three squares of up above me right now, but I don't know how to get up there.
I feel like I'm supposed to go somewhere here. Oh, there we go. It's a weird floating drawbridge. Can I break the lights for heart? No, oh, fuck. Wait, what? <laughs> I hit the water too hard. Alright, steam vents while climbing. point there. Apparently I can jump farther when I'm clinging onto something. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. What sorcery is this? No. No. Show me more, damn it. That's not enough. I need to see more. Is it still in the castle? I am here to avenge the death of my parents. I mean to end the evil that rules here. Will you stand in my way? I need to recover that weapon. Will you help me find it? All right, we're... Damn it! Sounds like, uh... Simon here's got a bit of a Irish brogue to his speech. Oh, it's raining ghosts. Alright, well I think that'll do it for Castlevania, Lords of Shadow, Mirrors of Fate, HD. It's available on Steam for 15 bucks. Uh, I assume it's probably the same price on 3DS, if not less. But, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't seem terrible, but it doesn't feel great either. You know, the combat feels like it's trying a little too hard to put console combat into a 2D, you know, 3DS platformer. 
still doesn't seem awful or anything. It's a, I guess, a nice attempt to do a throwback to older Castlevanias. But I'm in Shadefire, and I'll see you all around some other time.